And I recently spoke to one woman who told me that three of her brothers, all married, left two weeks ago for Australia. Her distress was plain and is shared by tens of thousands of other families. The policies of Fianna Fáil and Nye Fine Gael and Labour are responsible. Forced emigration is one of the huge damning failures of this state. And citizens are angry. We heard that anger expressed here. Angry at the political and banking elite and the developers, the golden circle that enriched itself through corruption, greed and bad policies. Angry at the government for failing to hold these elites to account. Angry at broken promises by Fine Gael and Labour not to pay one more red cent to bad banks and then they hand over 24 billion of our money, of the people's money, to these toxic banks. Many citizens thought in the election that they were voting for change. But what happened? Tweedledum has been replaced by Tweedledee. I want now to turn to the austerity treaty. And I hope the Taoiseach has the stopwatch going. <laughs> When considering what way to vote, people need to ask themselves if the austerity of recent budgets led to jobs and growth. Now, the answer to that is obvious. The answer to that is no. And if you accept that, you should vote no. <laughs> austerity isn't working now, and it won't start working on the 1st of June. And neither will it bring stability or certainty. Austerity means more cuts and increased charges. Right now, if you do not like the policies of the government, you can sack them or you can re-elect them. You won't be able to do that with unelected, unaccountable bureaucrats in Frankfurt and Brussels. And that's undemocratic. So don't give up your power. What people ever give up power? Democratic rights. Don't give up your freedom. Don't write austerity into the Constitution. The political institutions in the North need to move to the next natural stage, the transfer of fiscal power to the Assembly and the Executive. And the continuing exercise of fiscal power by the British Treasury, there's only one outcome. It will lead to more cuts and will lead to more right-wing welfare policies being imposed on the people in the North. But despite these difficulties, a huge effort by the Executive has resulted in jobs being retained and new jobs being created. Unemployment in the North has fallen, and at 6% is less than half the level in this state. Despite the lack of fiscal autonomy, the Sinn Féin ministerial team and the Assembly team have stood against cuts and used public funds to invest in jobs and growth. Deputy First Minister Mark McGuinness has ensured funding for the A5, and in case you know, Fine Gael and Labour don't know where that is, it's a new road linking Monaghan, Tyrone, with Derry and Donegal.